Hello, it's Jennifer from Weborn's Nursery. How are you guys doing? Hey, sorry it's been a while. Um, last weekend, uh, we were in Indianapolis um, to see my son who was moving into an apartment by his college. Um, I think I had told you guys a little bit about that, but anyway, I got a uh, bad sore throat and earache and all that kind of stuff, and yesterday I stayed home from school, um, and so it's been a whirlwind, but anyway, here I am in the extra bedroom, the room that I've been um, doing my videos for the channel, and I am, I've got everything out of here right now, and I'm going to sweep and I'm gonna to try to um, get it situated a little bit. I've got some different little pieces of furniture and stuff to put in here, but right now it's just pretty much a blank room. This has been our extra bedroom for 10 years now, or 11 years now, and now I'm going to try to change it into kind of like a little nursery, or at least a place for me to do my videos for the channel and um, just keep all my uh, Reborn and Dow Collection stuff. So um, this little uh, fake aquarium was my younger son's and I love it so much. I'm so glad we still have it. But he used to have it in his room and we used to put that on every night, kind of like a night light. But it also was just kind of, you know, kind of neat because it's kind of like a little aquarium um, that he could watch and look at and it just kind of helped him in the night, but um, I have it in here now because I think it looks really cute. So we're going to get started here. I got to do some sweeping and get some things in. Here we go. So here we go. This is the beginning coming in from the door. And this is not the final, final product, but this is, um, we used to have a queen size bed in here. Um, and that took up a lot of space. And now without that in here, I'm able to kind of spread out some of my uh, little furniture that I got from my friend. This little cradle here is for my good friend. And Matthew is laying in there, taking his little rest. And then for right now, I'm putting my little sloth light in between um, until I can figure out if I'm gonna put it up on one of the stands. Um, the next little um, crib is also for my good friend. Um, and we've got Ellie in there. And she is sleeping right there looking very cute and on the bottom I have put like a whole bunch of onesies in here kind of folded them so I can see the colors and what decorate um, what you know what they have on them and then next to it I just have some extra 
headbands um, and just put them in there for right now. And then the next one over, I've just got socks and basically that's it right now. Socks and then this extra little set of bloomers that I didn't have a spot for or I couldn't get hung up in the closet. So that's that. And then um, next to that, I have a little stand that I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not, um, but right now I've got uh, the little bottles that I got from the dollar store. And I've got the pacifiers also that I got from the dollar store. And an ex these are the pacifiers that I got uh, with the Reborns that I have that came with them. And my little Ann Gettys uh, baby in the bunny outfit in the egg. Some bubbles there that I had um, from actually when I worked at a, um, oh, a fitness center uh, and I was worked in the child care so I have those left over underneath I just have my boppy pillow for right now and then next to that I've got the bigger cradle that is also for my friend and she used this for her babies her real life babies <laughs> and I've got Brooklyn and there. she's just sleeping away Got the little lamb pillow that I got from Costco in there. And just a couple more little stuffed animals. And then over on the black shelf here, I've got the um, Discovery Kids Aquarium that I just think is so cute. I don't know, it's just so relaxing. I, I loved when we had a, we had a huge aquarium. Um, I forget how many gallon, but it was huge. And I just loved it. I loved watching the fish swim around and hearing the uh, motor or the filter going. And then we had little frogs in there. It was just really relaxing. So I guess this kind of reminds me of that. Then we've got the little shoes, some little shoes up there. Um, some little a spray bottle to wet their hair, a toothbrush to comb their hair, and a brush and a little comb. On the next shelf, then we have a couple little snazzy hats, little bonnets, and then a whole bunch of the little cloth hats that I've accumulated. And then on the bottom, we've got a whole bunch of blankets. I'm just going to keep in there for right now. And then as we move to the right over here, we've got um, Caleb on the left. If you guys have not been kept, uh, keeping up with my videos. The one on the left is the Sue Lin um, sculpt from Paradise Galleries. And she was my, or he was my Kelsey. But now I have started um, dressing him as a boy now. So that's Caleb on the left. And then we've got our cutie patootie next to him with the beautiful blue eyes ethan Let's see if you can see it's dark time so you're probably not going to get really good coloring in here but there they are and they are in a vintage little um high chair that i got at a garage sale for ten dollars and then over here is jade and she is Oh, I guess I haven't been telling you all the sculpts. Oh, well. She's from Paradise Galleries also, and she's the Baby May, Baby May um, sculpt by Ping Lao. And she is also in a little vintage um, high chair, and that one is actually from my friend. My friend actually gave me a lot of things that I have in here right now. She was doing a little clean out, and I happened to be the lucky recipient. So, and then over in this corner, um, you guys may have seen me use that um, tin or oh, whatever this tin tub to take pictures of the baby dolls in. And I've got some blankets and pillows in there, a whole bunch of clothes that I don't have hangers for yet. So I need to get that, get those hangers so I can hang those up. The closet, of course. And right now, I think, Pretty much, I have the girls 
some of the girls' stuff on this side. I've got the little Chinese outfits in there and the little snowsuit that came with um, Kyler, which is Luzon. And I bought this for $7 at Walmart. I'm going to wear that on one of the girls, probably Brooklyn, at Christmas time. And then um, I love this christening dress. That came with um, Luzon, or um, I call her Kyler. She's my Kyler. And then on the other side, I've got a bunch of stuff in here. I actually organized it. It's not too bad. But I've got 4th of July stuff. I've got Christmas stuff, birthday stuff, <sighs> Easter baskets, um, just all kinds of things. And then I've got some more clothes in here right now. Kind of the warmer, hot, the stuff for winter back here toward the back. And then um, kind of some medium stuff. Oh, I forgot I had these. Oh, there's the little Minnie Mouse. Oh, I love these little, these little long sleeve onesies. And then I got some of the boys stuff up here for right now. So, not too bad, I guess, for just starting in, let's see, I started in February collecting. Well, November when I got the two Paradise Gallery styles. Um, and then I had the two Paradise Gallery styles for until February, I guess. And then that's when I started. I got Kyler first. Um, where's Kyler? Oh, we didn't even go over here and see Kyler. Um, and here's the little, the little baby sofa that I got from AliExpress. And I've got some um, of the Ann Gettys babies dressed up. Um, one's a squirrel in the middle, the left is a teddy bear, and on the right is a sunflower or a daisy. And then there's Kyler. There she is, looking so cute in the little baby posing seat. So, yeah, I haven't been, been at this uh, doll collecting thing for a long, long time yet. February, let's see, March, April, May. I mean, three months, February, March, April, March, April, May, yeah. And then I guess if you, if you count from November when I first got the two Paradise Gallery styles, that would be December, January, February, March, April, May. That'd be six months. But um, yeah, I'm fairly new. I'm just trying to get this room a little bit, um, you know, more, uh, Easy, easy for me to come into and just kind of spend time doing my reborn doll stuff. I want to learn how to reweight. Um, actually, Kyler, I want to see if I can reweight. Her head is real heavy and I feel like she caves in kind of in the chest. So that's one thing I want to do. Um, and then I also want to try and learn how to make the pacifiers. And I got these at the dollar store um, and I thought I could just uh, make these into man magnetic pacifiers so that I'd have a few more selections for um, all of my babies, for the ones that have magnets anyway. So, um, yeah, that's all I've got right now, and it doesn't look hugely like a nursery, but I don't know if I'm going to go, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to go as far as to, like, repaint the walls, and um, I do want to get probably, like, either a small crib or um, a changing table. Or some other kind of thing that I can, you know, do videos a little bit more easily on. So, and maybe a rug or something in the middle. Just to make it look more nursery-like. But for right now, this is pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it for now. And I am, again, sorry that I haven't been on in a while. I just have not felt very well. I had a bad sore throat and earache. And um, just, you know, busyness with school at the end of the year here. 
going to help my son get him situated at college because he was starting summer school and so forth. So, and then this weekend is Mother's Day. So I hope to get this up, um, probably not tonight. It will probably be some time tomorrow afternoon, evening. Um, but I hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and being patient with me. Um, I am going to try to get more regular as, as we get closer to the end of the year. I think I'll have more time um, at the end of school and so forth. So um, hang in there with me and uh, we will try to keep getting things on track and make sure that we can, I can get some good videos up. But thank you so much for coming and visiting and commenting. I love the comments. I've had some really, really kind comments. And um, I just enjoy reading those and, and getting to go see your channels too. So thank you again for um, just making this a good community for all of us. I hope we all can work together and continue to have a great time. So have a good evening or daytime wherever you're at. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.